Flim 4, Authentication, Lesson 3, Autoload. Starting in our composer.json file, we're going to add this autoload object with a nested object where the key is psr-4. This is how we define namespaces. We'll say app backslash backslash points to our app directory, which will create a new models directory under. Within our models directory, we're actually going to create a new PHP class, and we're going to call it user. We're going to model a user. Now notice how the namespace app backslash models was automatically added. All we're going to do within our user class is we're going to var dump user created. Now that we have our user model set up, we have to go back to Bootstrap and or anywhere else in our application, and we can actually use that user class by referencing the namespace app backslash models backslash user. And then under our auto load import, we can say user equals new user, and then we'll actually just kill our application by saying die. The final step is we need to dump our auto load, composer dump auto load. Behind the scenes, composer will cache all of our auto loaded files. So once we dump that and then we open the browser, it works. We use namespace to import our user. Now, what if we want to add global files? They're not classes. They don't need namespaces. But say like a global uh, global helper functions. Well, to do that, we go back to composer.json and add this files key. It accepts an array. And all we're going to say is, OK, we want to auto load all the files in this array. And we want to auto load the helpers.php file within our app directory. So to do that, we're going to add a new helpers.php file. And then all we're going to do is we're going to say, OK, global helper functions. Now, what should we use as a global helper function as an example? Well, if you remember from lesson two, we set up this view function in our routes. But that's kind of ugly keeping it in our routes. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our global helper functions. And we'll say, if the view function does not exist, then we're going to define the view function. And this will define it globally. Next, we need to, of course, cut out that Yesinger's blade import that our view global helper function depends on and import that into our global helper functions. And then we need to actually copy the response interface that we use as response into our global helper functions. Those are the two dependencies that our global view function depends on. Now, the final thing we need to do before we can test this out is go back to our bootstrap slash index.php file. And when we go back to our bootstrap slash index.php file, you'll see that we still have our user import. And we're actually saying, OK, user equals new user. And then we kill our application by doing die. We're going to remove that. But when we test it out, it still doesn't work. Call to undefined function view. We forgot to dump the auto load. So once we dump our auto load, composer dump auto load, it will remove the cache and reload or re-render the auto-loaded files and namespaces, and it works. So guys, that is auto-loading in a nutshell within our PHP Slim 4 authentication series.